Hey, what's happening guys? In this video, I want to cover records and protocols inside Clojure. So let's get to it. The first thing I want to do is create a new Clojure project using line again. So I'm going to go line new and I'm going to call this records in protocols. I'm going to open this up using VS code. Then I'm going to start a new REPL using Culver and I'm going to connect to line again. Then I'm going to go to my source core.clj and just neaten this up. If everything is working well, we should have a running REPL, which we can test by going plus one, one and evaluating using option enter. Cool. Rad. So now let's start. So first off, what is a record? Well, a record is basically a map with predefined keys. So if we had a map called Jeep Wrangler and it had a make of Jeep and a model of Wrangler, then we would have a map that looked like this. But say we often used maps that had make and model as keys and they always had to have make and model as keys. Well, what we could use is a record and the way we would make a record is by defining a record. So we go def record and let's call this car model. And you can see it's capitalized and let's say car models always have a make and a model key. And these refer to these keys here. If we evaluate this, what Clojure has now done is created two functions for us. And the functions look like this, this arrow, so this two car model and basically this map to car model. So these are functions that Clojure has made for us behind the scenes. And what they do is allow us to create these car models. Let's say we wanted to create a Fiat 500, we could define at 500 and use this car model function and pass through a make of Fiat and a model of 500. Evaluate this and now Fiat 500 will be a, a record which is actually basically a map with a key of make and model and the values of Fiat and 500. If we wanted to instantiate this using a map we could use this map to car model function and pass through a map with a make let's say Ford and a model of focus. Evaluate this and well, let's actually bind it to something. I'm going to def bind it to forward focus. And now if we check forward focus, we see we have a record type with where the make is forward and the model is focus. If we just made this a blank map, so if we go map to car model with a blank map or an empty map, we just get a, a map with the key of make and model back and the values are null. And that's because car models always have the make a model key. You can use the same functionality on maps as you can on records. So we can grab the keys from maps. We can go make Jeep Wrangler and we'll get our make back. We can do the same thing with record types. So we can get make Fiat 500 and we can get our make from the Fiat 500. The truth is though, is that getting this make key from the Fiat 500 because it's a record type is slightly faster. So if you're looking for like hardcore performance, then def record will give you that. One other thing I want to show you is that we can tell that these are actually different types by running the class function on Jeep Wrangler will give us persistent array map where if we ran the class function on Fiat 500, it would give us this car model record type as its class. And in essence, that's records. The cool thing about records is that you can attach protocols to them. And what protocols do is allow you to attach functionality to records. So let's create a protocol. I'm just going to do that above the car model and get rid of this Jeep Wrangler. The dev protocol here, and I'm going to call this protocol display. So let's add a title function to all records that implement display. And we do that by adding a form here with the first argument saying title and then second being a vector of what arguments this expects and all protocol arguments by default expect this as an argument. If we wanted to add another argument to the list, we could say description and it would take this and a description. So we can evaluate this protocol and now let's attach it to our record. So to do that, we add another argument here and this will be the name of our protocol, which in this case is display. And now we have to implement the functionality of the display protocol. So we have a title function here, which takes in this. And this refers to the map that it's being run on. So we could get our make out of this by doing this, but we actually have our make and our model here as arguments. So we don't need to do that. So we could just say string 
this is a and then make space model so that will be our title function and let's add our description function so a description that takes this and a description so we can say description we can just return a string the make space model space is and then our description evaluate this and now if we reevaluate our fiat 500 we'll have these two functions that we can use with our fiat 500 so we can go title fiat 500 and we'll return this is a fiat 500 if we go description fiat 500 super awesome car and evaluate this the fiat 500 is a uh, yeah the fiat 500 is a super awesome car now let's say we create another record down the line let's call it a product so def record product and let's say a product just has a name we can create this and now we have two new functions we have this function this to product function and we have the map to product function both allow us to create products so i'm just going to use this to product function and i'm going to create a new product called toaster so def toaster toaster if we evaluate this we'll get a map back with the key of name so now let's say down the line we also want our product record to implement display functionality instead of updating def record here we could use extend protocol so we could extend protocol pass through our protocol which in this case is display and then the record type that we want to associate with our new functionality which in this case would be product and we wanted to use this title function so we can go title and we know that takes a product so we can just refer to it as p and then we can say this product is a uh, and then we grab the name from our product uh, let's wrap this in a string then we need to implement the description which we can write here description and that takes in p and the description and then we could return a string again the name of our product is we evaluate this now we just added display functionality to our product so now we should be able to just run title on our toaster cool the product is a toaster and we also have this description functionality description toaster we can say flipping nice this toaster is and it's because we didn't had the description argument here Reevaluate this, run this function. This toaster is flipping nice. And that's basically records and protocols in Clojure. To be honest, you don't really need to use these, but they are there and they can make your project neater and a little bit more performant. I've got lots of tutorials coming up, so stay tuned. Cheers, guys. Bye.